What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video we're gonna go through keyword optimization. Now I don't really have an account we're looking at today, I don't really have that much data to go off of, but I'm gonna give you my uh, consensus on how I do things and, and how I think you should definitely be optimizing your keywords and cutting the dead weight keywords that are not converting and just wasting money for you. And um, before we get into that, obviously, I always say, you know, subscribe to our channel, please like this video. If you um, wanna check out some free content, we have links in the description for all that stuff, free courses, books, all kinds of stuff. All right, let's get right into it. We're looking at my brother Mike's CPR training campaign. Now, for those of you who've been watching the channel or subscribers, you've seen me do a few videos on Mike's campaign, and um, it's only been running for about 30 days, Sunday, April 18th, so a little over 30 days. We're sorting by all time. So when I usually do keyword optimizations, I usually get 60 to 90 days of data. You can really do it with 60. Um, you need a big data sample to start deciding what to pause and you know all that kind of stuff so the more time the more time frame you have the better optimization you're going to get the more wasted ad spend you're going to cut so for this we're just doing the best account what i got he's gotten 231 clicks since the campaign started we're going to go into it and just uh, get right to it so we're going to go into the campaign go into keywords now we're just going to sort and look by clicks right which i already have done and we're going to see what is wasting money all right, so seven clicks, no leads. I'm just gonna cut that. Six clicks, no leads, I'll cut that. I won't go really below five. Now as a general rule of thumb, uh, I usually don't pause a keyword unless it's 0 for 10, but you know, I don't really have much to go on in this campaign because it's, it's doing pretty well. I mean, it's converting decently, so I'm okay with that for now. And uh, he's got a lot more room to run and he has more budget too. So that's all you're really going to do is you're going to you're going to comb through your keywords. You're going to find the losers, right? So these wasted like you know like ten bucks each or something like that because they're such cheap clicks. But like if you're going through a plumbing campaign or something like that, and you're paying twenty four dollars a click, sixteen dollars a click, and you're zero for ten, that's a that's a big chunk of money that you wasted, right? So if you pause that keyword, that's money you're saving in the future. It's going to go towards better keywords like up here that are converting. So that's why you want to go always go through every sixty to ninety days and kind of just look at your keywords and uh, basically just drop the losers. Kind of like how I, I taught you guys with uh, doing your ad copy. You're gonna go through every 60 to 90 days and you're gonna cut the losing non-converting ads and create new ones to run against the winners. So it's pretty much the same thing when it comes to keyword optimizations. So you just comb through your keywords and start picking out all the losers that are wasting money and you just pause them. And that's really it. Unfortunately, sorry guys, I don't really have much more data to go on in this campaign, but Hopefully this video was helpful. I know it's short, but uh, you know it's, that's really all I got for you today. And uh, if you have any questions about you know looking at the metrics and what, how to decide what kind of keywords to cut, drop them in the comment section because I know there could be a lot more questions on uh, deciding when, whether to pause a keyword or not. Like, all right, what if you have a keyword that has ten clicks, one lead, and the lead's way too expensive, the, the cost per lead, right? So there's definitely some things you have to look at before you just make decisions like that. And that's for a more in-depth video that I will definitely do in the future on a bigger account where I don't have, you know, the pause keywords that have seven clicks. But, um, all right, so that's all I got. If you have any questions, as I said, drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.